हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस हैवी वाटर डी टू ओ जस्ट लाइक एच टू ओ हेयर इट इज डी टू ओ इन द प्लेस ऑफ एच यू राइट डी डी टू ओ हैवी वाटर इट इज एक्सटेंसिवली यूज एज ए मॉडरेटर इन न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर एंड इन एक्सचेंज रिएक्शन फॉर द स्टडी ऑफ रिएक्शन मेकानिज्म्स इट कैन बी प्रिपेयर्ड बाय एग्जॉस्टिव इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस ऑफ वाटर एग्जॉस्टिव इलेक्ट्रोलाइसिस ऑफ वाटर और एज ए बाई प्रोडक्ट इन सम फर्टिलाइजर इंडस्ट्रीज इट्स ए फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज many physical properties uh, i have told you but again i am repeating you that uh, physical properties of uh, d2o uh, that uh, main molecular mass molecular mass for d2o is 20 20.02 molecular mass melting point is 276.8 here important things are there it's uh, all properties are similar to had h2o similar to h2o d2 also have you can say same type of property very similar property like h2o melting point 276.8 boiling point 374.4 enthalpy of formation <coughs> माइनस टू नाइन्टी फोर पॉइंट सिक्स हैं इंथालपी ऑफ वैपोरेशन फोर्टी वन पॉइंट सिक्स वन एंड टेम्परेचर डेंसिटी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट देन मैक्सिमम डेंसिटी दैट इज द टू एट्टी फोर पॉइंट टू कैल दैट इज इन कैलविन and uh, density general density at 298 kelvin its value is 1.1 and uh, viscosity is 1.107 in centipoise dielectric constant value is 78.06 then all these values are very close to h2o okay and because d2o is used in a nuclear reactor nuclear reactor uh, then uh, it has a more important that's why it is prepared nowadays in more quantity then now it is used for the preparation of other deuterium compounds other compound of deuterium is prepare, prepared by use of dto okay then first i am telling you reaction with calcium carbide cac2 calcium carbide plus d2o means 2 dto balanced equation is calcium carbide plus 2 dto then it gives a c2 d2 just like acetylene acetylene सेम वे कैल्शियम कार्बाइड प्लस एस टू ओ इफ इट विल रिएक्ट इट विल गिव ए सी टी लीन दैट इज सी टू एच टू हेयर यू विल गेट सी टू डी टू देयर विथ रिएक्शन अदर प्रोडक्ट वॉज सी ओ एच होल टू कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड कैल्शियम कार्बाइड प्लस एस टू ओ कैल्शियम कार्बाइड प्लस Twice H two O, it was giving C two H two plus plus calcium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide. But here same things only in the place of H you have to write D capital D deuterium. Then calcium carbide C A C two plus two D two O. It will give C two D two plus C A O H C A O D whole two, just like O H whole two, it is O D whole two. Okay, 
then other other you can say means uh, this uh, carbide of deuterium you got um, calcium carbide was there now you got just like a acetylene c2s2 you are getting c2d2 okay and uh, other that is the so2 plus d2o you will get d2so4 just like h2so4 d2so4 so3 so3 plus d2o so3 plus d2o you will get d2so4 this is again product of deuterium and uh, third main product i am talking about that is the aluminium carbide al4c3 al4c3 plus just like a 12 h2o here you will you you are using 12 h uh, 12 dto 12 d2o just like a h2o here d2o 12 d2o and its product will be similar like you can say water then what will the product product will be just like it's 3 ch4 in case of water it was ch4 now we'll get cd4 cd4 plus other product you will get aluminium od aluminium od whole 3 just like aluminium hydroxide was there na al oh whole 3 here you will get al od whole 3 then balanced equation is same as as you can say water you know in case of water aluminum al4c3 aluminum carbide plus 12 h2o it was 3 ch4 plus 4 ol oh3 same way here you will get al4 al4c3 plus 12 d2o you will get 3 cd4 plus 4 o al od whole 3 okay same then now i told you some products of heavy hydrogen heavy hydrogen okay and uh, this heavy hydrogen in the form of heavy water i have told you and uh, now i am going to discuss hydrogen as a fuel hydrogen as a fuel last class already i have discussed about peroxide hydrogen peroxide its physical properties chemical properties storage uses all things i have finished and many questions are asked from the peroxide and also from the heavy heavy water heavy water also objective type question multiple choice question it is asked in almost all examination now i am going to discuss hydrogen as a fuel hydrogen also called dihydro dihydrogen as a fuel dihydrogen releases a large quantity of heat on combustion this is a very very important things dihydrogen means hydrogen gas releases large quantities of heat on combustion the data the data on energy released by combustion of fuels like dihydrogen methane lpg it is r a etc are compared in terms of the in terms of the same amounts okay in mole mass and volume as for example i am telling you that uh, energy released on combustion in kilo joule in kilo joule okay then uh, here uh, per mole per mole if dihydrogen gas means means uh, hydrogen gas 
फॉर्मोल हाइड्रोजन गैस ऑन कंबसन दिस आई एम टेलिंग अबाउट इन किलो जॉल हाउ मच हीट इट विल रिलीज इन किलो जॉल दैट आई एम टेलिंग यू फॉर बोथ गैसेज नॉट बोथ एज एल पी जी ऑल्सो मिथेन ऑल्सो ऑक्टेन ऑल्सो ओके देर आर टोटल टोटल फाइव यू कैन से गैसेज आर देयर विच इज यूज एज ए फ्यूएल देन हाइड्रोजन गैस एंड अदर अदर यू कैन से हाइड्रोजन गैस इन टू ए स्टेट हाइड्रोजन गैस इन टू ए स्टेट फर्स्ट गैसेस स्टेट एंड सेकेंड लिक्विड स्टेट हाइड्रोजन गैस इन टू ए स्टेट एज ए गैसेस स्टेट एंड सेकेंड एज लिक्विड स्टेट ओके अदर फ्यूएल इज एल पी जी लिक्विफाइड पेट्रोलियम गैस एंड नेक्स्ट गैस इज मीथेन गैस सी एच फोर एंड ऑक्टेन ऑक्टेन ऑल्सो इट इज ए लिक्विड बट इट इज ए फ्यूएल इट इज ए फ्यूएल then <clears throat> this in comparison you can understand that uh, which gas is giving more uh, i can say uh, energy which gas is releasing more energy then uh, per gram i am telling you per gram then you can understand the importance of uh, dihydrogen gas or hydrogen gas per gram dihydrogen means hydrogen gas in gaseous state it gives a 143 kilo joule 143 kilo joule per gram hydrogen gas and when hydrogen gas will be in liquid state then it will give 142 only one difference kilo joule per gram and uh, lpg it is giving means liquefied petroleum gas एल पी जी वाट यू आर यूजिंग इन किचन देन दैट इज ए वेरी लेस फिफ्टी फिफ्टी किलो जॉल पर ग्राम एंड मिथन गैस इट इज एलमोस्ट सेम फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी थ्री एंड ऑक्टेन इन लिक्विड स्टेट इट इज फोर्टी सेवन देन सी ऑल थ्री एल पी जी इज फिफ्टी सी एच फोर इज फिफ्टी फिफ्टी थ्री एंड ऑक्ट्रेन इज फोर्टी सेवन ऑल आर एलमोस्ट सेम बट हेयर यू कैन सी हाइड्रोजन गैस आइदर इन गैसेस स्टेट और लिक्विड स्टेट इट इज गिविंग इन गैसेस स्टेट वन फोर्टी थ्री किलो जॉल पर ग्राम एंड इन लिक्विड स्टेट वन फोर्टी टू ओनली वन डिफरेंस देन नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ मच हाइड्रोजन इज गिविंग द Uh, energy how much it is releasing now you might have understood and in the term of mole this i told per gram per gram but in terms of mole you should also know then in terms of mole uh, uh, this hydrogen gas is 286 kilo joule 286 kilo joule per mole and liquid hydrogen 285 only one difference okay but here lpg is more lpg is 2220 kilo joule per mole okay in terms of mole it is lpg lpg is high okay but in term of gram term of gram per gram hydrogen gas is hydrogen gas is more Okay, then LPG two 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 zero, huh? Twenty two hundred twenty means two thousand two hundred twenty LPG. Methane is less eight eighty, eight hundred eighty, and octane that is a only ah uh, five hundred fifty one liter. Uh, this thing here five fifty one, five no it is also more. Uh, This uh, LPG is two thousand two twenty, and methane is eight hundred eighty. It is less, and octane is more. It is five thousand five hundred eleven. Five 
5,511 octane is highest in terms of mole in terms of mole and uh, this uh, lowest lowest is H2 gas in terms of mole ok then I have told about the this again if you want you can know per liter also per liter then per liter hydrogen gas gaseous hydrogen is giving 12 kilojoule per liter 12 and uh, dihydrogen it is giving that is a liquid dihydrogen liquid is giving more 9968 kilojoule per mole and uh, LP, LPG is 25590 per liter I am telling you now comparison in per liter and CH4 is 35 35 and octane in the term of octane in the term of uh, lit, uh, per liter octane will give 34,005 highest 34,005 ok then top is the octane in terms of liter in term of liter uh, 1 liter will give 34,005 kilojoule per mole octane second position is for LPG 25,590 and third position is 9,968 liquid hydrogen and uh, after that methane 35 and list is list is hydrogen gas per liter only 12 then you will think uh, how it is like this you will might be confusing but here uh, I want to tell you that per gram easily you can understand that is easy to understand per gram hydrogen gas 143 liquid hydrogen 142 and uh, LPG 50 methane 53 and uh, octane 47 then here you can understand how much uh, this difference meaning what then this difference meaning uh, just like uh, currency now, rupees in India its value plus same rupees in America in dollar and dollar will differ and uh, other you can say other unit other countries they have their uh, own unit uh, then like that way they will differ in their currency same money same money will have different values in other countries in their currency like that way here situation is there in different unit in mole it is showing different and uh, it uh, gram it is different liter different and that's why in some countries that uh, uh, their money will have more value or less value ok some countries in, in comparison to India like that way they will get uh, uh, there in after converting uh, Indian rupees in their units value will differ the same type of situation is here but per gram it is easy you can understand very easily per gram ok then now I have told about the you can say energy now I want to tell you more about this then from the this what I have told you it is clear that on a mass for on a mass for a mass basis mass basis dihydrogen can release more energy means per gram I am talking about more energy than than you can say petrol petrol about three times three times more ok this uh, I told you per gram energy of in hydrogen on the basis of mass a mass basis uh, dihydrogen can release uh, more energy than petrol about three times three times more moreover pollutants is uh, pollutants in hydrogen gas 
इज ए लेस लेस मीन्स नो पॉल्यूटेंट्स इन कम्बसन ऑफ डाई हाइड्रोजन बिल वी लेस देन पेट्रोल लेस देन पेट्रोल नो पॉल्यूशन इन कम्बसन नो पॉल्यूशन वेरी वेरी लेस नेग्लिजिबल पॉल्यूटेंट्स इन कम्बसन ऑफ डाई हाइड्रोजन बिल वी लेस देन पेट्रोल द ओनली पॉल्यूटेंट्स बिल वी द ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ डाई नाइट्रोजन ओके ओनली वन पॉसिबिलिटी इज देयर द ओनली पॉल्यूटेंट्स बिल वी द ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ डाई नाइट्रोजन एन टू ओ डाई डाई नाइट्रोजन ओके नॉट डाई नाइट्रोजन नॉट ऑक्साइड एन टू इज देयर एन टू डाई नाइट्रोजन मीन्स एन टू ओके ड्यू टू द प्रजेंस ऑफ डाई नाइट्रोजन एंड इम्प्यूरिटी विथ दैट इज ए नाइट जनरली विथ हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन विल बी देयर एज ए इम्प्यूरिटीज विथ हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन मे बी प्रजेंट नाइट्रोजन मे बी प्रजेंट देन ड्यू टू दैट ड्यू टू दै ड्यू टू दिस इम्प्यूरिटी इम्प्यूरिटी मे बी लिटिल पॉल्यूशन ओके देन ओनली वन स्कोप इज देयर फॉर पॉल्यूशन दैट इज ड्यू टू नाइट्रोजन प्रजेंट विथ हाइड्रोजन एज इम्प्यूरिटी दिस ऑफ कोर्स कैन बी मिनिमाइज बाई इंजेक्टिंग ए स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर इन टू द सिलेंडर टू लोअर द टेम्परेचर सो दैट द रिएक्शन बिटवीन डाई नाइट्रोजन एंड डाई ऑक्सीजन मे बी मे नॉट टेक प्लेस जस्ट टू स्टॉप द रिएक्शन बिटवीन एन टू प्लस ओ टू जस्ट सम अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर इज एडेड इन द सिलेंडर टू लोअर द टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर बी वी लो देन वाट विल हैपन सो दैट द रिएक्शन बिटवीन डाई नाइट्रोजन एंड डाई ऑक्सीजन मीन्स ओ टू मे नॉट टेक प्लेस ओके हाईवर द मास ऑफ द कंटेनर अदर थिंग्स यू कैन सी लिमिटेशन इज देयर हाईवर द मास ऑफ द कंटेनर इन विच एच टू बिल बी कैप्ड मस्ट बी टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन ए सिलेंडर ऑफ कंप्रेस्ड डाई हाइड्रोजन वेज अबाउट थर्टी टाइम्स एज मच एज ए टैंक ऑफ पेट्रोल कंटेनिंग द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ इनर्जी सी हाउ मच स्ट्रॉन्ग दिस कंटेनर इज रिक्वायर्ड सिलेंडर इज रिक्वायर्ड वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सिलेंडर ए सिलेंडर ऑफ कंप्रेस्ड हाइड्रोजन कंप्रेस्ड हाइड्रोजन लिक्विड हाइड्रोजन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ए सिलेंडर ऑफ कंप्रेस्ड हाइड्रोजन वेज इट्स हैवी वेट वेज अबाउट थर्टी टाइम्स एज एज मच एज ए टैंक ऑफ पेट्रोल कंटेनिंग द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ इनर्जी के ऑल्सो हाइड्रोजन गैस इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू लिक्विड स्टेट बाई कूलिंग टू द कूलिंग टू ट्वेंटी के ट्वेंटी के ट्वेंटी के मीन्स वेरी लेस टेम्परेचर टू सेवेंटी थ्री कैलविन टू सेवेंटी थ्री प्लस जीरो डिग्री मीन्स टू सेवेंटी थ्री के दैट इज टेलिंग अबाउट द जीरो डिग्री जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इन कैलविन टू सेवेंटी थ्री के देन एयर यू आर ट्वेंटी के देन यू आर थिंग माइनस टू फिफ्टी थ्री माइनस टू फिफ्टी थ्री वेरी लो टेम्परेचर only then it will liquefy hydrogen gas will liquefy otherwise it will not liquefy hydrogen gas is permanent gas ha huh? if you want to liquefy then below crit you have to uh, you can say bring the lower temperature below critical temperature minus 253 okay you keep in mind minus 253 degree centigrade then it will liquefy and uh, below critical temperature you have to liquefy pressure will should be very high then now uh, this is again uh, i have told you that uh, 
dihydrogen gas is converted into liquid state by cooling to 20k minus means 2253 minus 253 kelvin this would require expensive insulated tanks insulated tanks because they are cooling it if we, if tank will be not a strong then it will break uh, this would require to uh, just uh, to minus 253 degree centigrade or 20k you can say this would require expensive insulated tanks tanks of metal tanks of metals alloy like example i am telling you tanks made up of metal alloys like na na ni5 na ni5 in ni5 in was nitrogen penta iodide the sodium nitrogen penta iodide this is the alloy of sodium nitrogen iodine in a in i5 second alloy can be used as a titanium titanium hydride ti ti is 2 no titanium titanium hydride third magnesium magnesium hydride mg mg is 2 these are used actually these are in use for the storage of liquid hydrogen or you can tell di hydrogen in a small quantities this you can use in a small quantities not in, not in very large quantities okay these these limitations have prompted researcher to search for alternative technique to use di hydrogen in an efficient way actually use is a difficult this is a good high energy but how will you use where will you store how will you bring so less temperature it is not so easy then there are alternative techniques scientists are chemists are searching okay in this view hydrogen economy is an alternative okay hydrogen economy is an alternative the basic principle of hydrogen economy is the transportation and storage of energy in the form of liquid or gases hydrogen where will you store it that is the problem about the tank it is the problem advantage of hydrogen economy is that energy is, is transmitted in the form of di hydrogen and not as electric power generally people's will power they will supply from one place to the other place current electric power but here you are sending di hydrogen direct energy you are sending direct energy then here di uh, here we are it is transmitted in the form of di hydrogen and not as electric power it is for the first time in the history of india that a pilot project using di hydrogen means hydrogen gas as a fuel was launched in october 2005 it is very good work has been done by the government of india for running automobiles initially 5% di hydrogen has been mixed has been mixed in cng all of you know that compressed natural gas cng auto is running here you and the buses are running by cng compressed natural gas natural gas is mainly methane gas then 5% hydrogen gas now is mixed with cng 5% di hydrogen has been mixed in cng okay this is the advanced knowledge i am telling you 5% at h2 because h2 will give more energy that's why it is mixed with 5% h2 is mixed with cng for use in four wheeler vehicles in four wheeler vehicles 
more energy is required more energy is required that why hydrogen is mixed the percentage of hydrogen would be gradually increased to reach the optimum level and further it can be its energy will be more then it can be used for the heavy trucks and other things also even for the rails also but now it is restricted only where cng is nowadays it is used in bus and uh, this things uh, auto okay but when it will be di di hydrogen will be more means hydrogen will be mixed more then uh, its power will increase then it can be used for other vehicles also okay then uh, now it is trying to increase their optimum up to the optimum level nowadays it also is in the fuel cell fuel cell i told you h2o2 h2o2 cell is called fuel cell hydrogen and oxygen both gases are used as a fuel it's one side h2 other side o2 and then hcn o2 will react and it will form you can say water and it will produce current Elect- electron it will be free then electron free means what that it will uh, it will create a current current electricity then this is called hydrogen fuel cells cells hydrogen fuel cells okay and first time in india then apollo was sent all in the world also you can tell that time 1970 when apollo apollo satellite was sent then this fuel cell was utilized that time there was a scarcity of current electricity then this fuel cell was uh, you can say for the space research it was used in a rocket also it was used this fuel cells and uh, uh, this things scientists were drinking water which they were getting in this process o2 plus h2 it will form na uh, 2h2o o2 plus 2h2 o2 plus 2h2 2h2o 2h2o it will form plus electron then electron will provide electricity and 2h2o they were collecting and this water they were drinking by mixing some uh, can say vitamins or minerals then uh, this fuel cell uh, for the research space research it is very very uh, important and playing a, nowadays playing a big role then it is also used in fuel cells for generation of electric power it is expected that economically viable and safe sources of hydrogen will be identified in the years in come for its usage as a common source of energy all thing is possible then today i have finished hydrogen chapter completely 100% i have finished all important things i have discussed and i think it will help you too much in a competitive examination and next class i will start s block element third chapter of part 2 thank you